I said yesterday, I started off the show with this, that you can't let your kid go to the Chiefs game with the headdress on because you know he's going to be a target by the media and by social media. That was the point I made yesterday. And many of you misunderstood the point. Many of you didn't want to hear the point. You stuck your fingers in your ears and you heard what you wanted to hear. And you said, la, 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 la. And, you know, that's fine. We all, you know, can hear what we want to hear. But this kid, this poor kid, and I feel terrible for him, is continuing to get absolutely hammered by some of the wokest, most garbage media that exists in America. Most notably, Deadspin, which used to be a popular sports blog going back, oh, geez, 10 years ago now probably, give or take, was was the peak of Deadspin. And now they're just, I mean, garbage, left-wing, sports, wannabe nonsense. But at one point, they were bigger than Barstool. I mean, this is more uh, Mark and I's generation, but you remember the heyday of Deadspin, don't you, Mark? They were a big deal in the sports media world. Oh, yeah, they were. And now they're uh, a shell of what they used to be. I mean, when's the last time you went to Deadspin for anything? Yeah, it's kind of like a <laughs> gossipy website now almost. John's not impressed, and I'm not surprised. Dead spin, the athletic, there's a bunch of blowhard kids out there. I mean, <laughs> I, it, I'm spoiled hanging around you two because you guys know what you're talking about. But, I mean, there's some dunces out there <laughs> that populate the media throughout the local horizon. That is very true. They're all over the place. They're like ants, you know. You try to smash them and another one pops Touché. up. So Deadspin goes after this kid who uh, was shown on TV at the start of the fourth quarter of the Chiefs-Raiders game in Vegas on Sunday. And if you haven't seen the pictures, it's up on our uh, Twitter and Facebook pages, so you can find them there. But this kid's in the uh, Native American headdress. Of course, you can't wear that in Arrowhead Stadium, but hey, the Chiefs don't run uh, the Raiders Stadium. So you can wear it to the Raiders Stadium, I guess. The kid did. And then he had his face painted half black and half red. Well, coming back from the break to start the fourth quarter for the Chiefs game, CBS showed the kid on TV, and they only showed him from the right side, so it looks like his face is painted entirely black, i.e. blackface. Of course, that or was not I. the case. Or I.E. Raider fan. Oh, yeah, or I.E. Raider we, fan. It's never been brought up. I'm like, okay, there's blackface where you're trying to be Michael Jackson or something. <laughs> and then there's putting on black paint like the Raiders might have. Yes. Or any other team. Mm-hmm. And, and, so. and this kid has a Kelsey jersey on. He's got the Native American headgear mm-hmm. on. And his face is painted half black and half red. Mm-hmm. But he's shown, and he's... Looks like his face is painted only black from the way the TV camera showed him. Obviously, that wasn't the case. But Deadspin decided it was going to write this article headlined, The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface and native headdress. Now, hold on a second here. This kid is like 10 years old, if that. You want the NFL, you want Roger Goodell to have a press conference about a 10-year-old kid. Really? That's That's what Deadspin thinks Roger Goodell should be doing. Press conferences on 10 year old kids wearing things that offend Deadspin. Now we know that Deadspin is a garbage media outlet. I mean, bottom of the barrel, disaster of a media outlet. Everything about them is is media at its absolute worst. That being said, this is why I made the point I made yesterday. The parents cannot let their kid wear this to the game to protect him from exactly what is happening, which is this kid becoming a national story and a national punching bag for uber woke left media. That's why I made the point I did yesterday. It's not about kowtowing to a woke mob. These are children. If the dad wanted to to man up and do this. There you go. There you go. People listening with their left ear yesterday. Well, the parents just need to stand up. to you. Yeah. Parents do not need to put their child in front of them as a shield. Correct. And you that's what they did. You go ahead and blackface and headdress. Yeah. 
If Stand you, up. Go ahead. If you want to be a tough well, guy. Don't do it to your kid. Don't do it to your kid. And you have to know better. You got to, as a parent, have a little bit of foresight and say, you know, this could really go wrong. They don't wear these, you know, native headdresses at Arrowhead anymore. They don't allow them at Arrowhead anymore. Now, whether you agree with that or not isn't really the point. Stop taking the argument and turning it into whatever you want it to be about. Let's look at the world the way it is right now. And if you are going to subject your 10-year-old child to potentially going viral, knowing full well where the media is at today and where social media is at today, then shame on you. You've got to have the foresight as a parent in this political climate to understand you're putting your kid at risk of exactly what happened to him. And that is becoming a household face, becoming, I don't want to say a household name because no one knows who he is, but now having your face plastered all over the Internet and potentially making life miserable for this kid. You know, Claire uh, wants to go to a Chiefs game so bad, and I can't take her yet. She's going to be five next week. I, I, I can't do that. But what I might do next year is take her to a preseason game. I mean, people said it's pretty harmless. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that's a good one. It, it's figure I could do a preseason game maybe. And, you know, we'll walk around and kind of do all that. But I bring that up because now on TV when the game is going on, she'll do the chop with me, right? Like, she she likes doing the chop. She gets into it. She's like, oh, she likes, you know, she, she likes it. That's cool. I would let her do the chop at a game because you got tens of thousands of fans also doing it. But if she said to me, In a year, two years, three years. Hey, Dad, I want to paint my face black and wear the native headgear to the game. Well, first off, she couldn't get into the game with that. But I would also say, honey, listen, it's it's not worth it. You know, we're going to go. We're going to have a great time. You just talk your kids out of stuff like that. Maybe you don't have to get into the why, but you just do your job as a parent to say, you know, not a good idea for a multitude of reasons. Is that me? You know, bending over to the woke stirs. No, I'm just protecting my child from themselves. And that's what we do. But there's been a lot of tough guys and gals for that matter. I got a lot of grandmas, it seems like, really upset with me on my Facebook page. Who are like, you're a wimp. You're (laughs) soft. Okay, lady, go send your grandson into the woke mob and see how that goes. We're not going to beat the woke mob with our grandkids and our children on the front lines. I would like to ask the key- Monday's keyboard warriors. Yes. Where they were. Were they among the hundreds at the plaza lighting? Or did we stay home? Do we have some double standards here about, uh, you know, what to stand up for? And yeah. What to, where to be seen, and, mm-hmm. and, right? Where to make your statements? Yeah. Yeah, they don't seem to want to do that. No, though, but they I, want to be really I, I couldn't tough. be bothered to go down the plaza. That's too scary. It's too tenuous, too dicey. Yeah, but, you know, throw that kid of yours. Throw the kid up there. Sure. Throw him right on TV. I got an opinion on that. And let him get stro- destroyed by Deadspin and all the other idiot media outlets in town. And not in town so much, but around the country. Seeing it more from the blogosphere is where you're seeing a lot of this. 913-408-7957. It's how you join us on uh, KCMO Talk Radio. So I, I, I want to welcome you into the conversation here or on the text line as well. Of course, Deadspin is a hack media outlet. And it's laughable that they think Roger Goodell should comment on some 10-year-old kid wearing a headdress and having his face painted at a Chiefs game. But at the same time, this is exactly the stuff that you got to protect your children from. We're not going to put our kids on the front lines of the culture wars. We rip on the left when they do that, right? We always give them a hard time when we rip on them and say, hey, get the kids out of the culture wars. They're children for a reason. It is our job to protect them. But a lot of you are saying, no, no, we got to be tough on this one. Stop. 913-408-7957. As we uh, hit 644 on a Tuesday morning on KCMO Talk Radio, 95.7 FM. 649 on a uh, Tuesday. Welcome in. Thanks for starting your day with us here on KCMO. I hope you don't start your day with deadspin.com. It is hot trash. There's so many things. I keep calling it garbage, trash, crap. It's just the things I want to call it I can't say on radio. 
the FCC won't like that. So I can't use those We're words. We're not going to demean refuse or recyclables either by yeah. attaching them to that quality. Correct. So, so trash, garbage. I got to kind of keep using the same Tacos, words. Yeah. do. Yeah, that works. That works. Shish. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> but you get the point. I mean, it's, it's terrible. So Deadspin goes viral yesterday for the first time in years because they demand in this headline, it's their front page story, that the kid Chiefs fan who went viral at the game the other day because he had the headdress on and um, he had his face painted half black and half red. But, of course, the photo they show is him only with the black side of the face. He ends up going viral, and Deadspin writes that the NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the fan in blackface and native headdress. He's not in blackface, to be very clear. He does have the headdress on. And, you know, it's easy. I can follow everyone else and say, this is outrageous. How dare the deadspin losers go after this kid? He's a kid. And that is true. But there's another angle to this. And this is the angle I brought up on Sunday night that outraged many of you. But this is why conservatives lose. They don't think three steps ahead. They react and they get outraged. And the outrage is correct. But they don't think three steps ahead about the world we're living in. And the reason I wouldn't let my kid go to the game like this is for the very thing that happened to this poor kid. If he shows up on TV, it will be screenshotted and the media and social media will try to destroy his life. And that's exactly what's playing out. And you can say that's wrong and it is wrong. And I'm pointing out that it's wrong. And nothing about it's good or healthy. I'm not happy that society is the way it is. But I'm not going to change it dressing up kids in headdresses one game at a time. I'm not going to do it. I'm not putting kids in that kind of spot. Susan is in Lee's Summit. Hello, Susan. Good morning. Hey, Pete. Uh, Thanks for taking my call. The moment they showed that kid on TV, I told my husband, oh, it's going to hit the fan. But I want to know, I completely 100% agree with you. The parents, the grandparents have got to know better. But what about the cameraman, the producer? He had to know or she had to know better. I mean, they had to know it was going to cause trouble. Yeah. Uh, listen, I here's the thing. Um, I've never done that job. I know people who have done that job. And typically what happens is you've got one guy running the show. He's yelling in everybody's ear, camera 10, camera 22, camera 15. And I don't know if that person had an agenda. I agree they should not use children uh, to further some kind of narrative. But uh, in the end, all we can can do is control our own household and try to protect our kids. That's it. I agree, Pete. Good job. All right, Susan. Thank you very much. I I wish Susan was on my Facebook page. (laughs) Instead, I got, you know, dozens of people just, I mean, really all bent out of shape. 913-408-7957. Uh, to get in the conversation. Let's go to Jason. He is in KCK. Hello, Jason. Good morning. Hey, Pete and team. I love your guys' show. Listen to you every day. Don't usually disagree with you, brother, but, you know, here's the thing. You you talk about why conservatives lose, and I'm going to throw this at you because I truly believe it. Conservatives lose because of what you're saying, because we bow down to this mindset of we can't do these things. Oh, and pretty soon, the chop that your child wants to do going to be outlawed. So what do you do then when she gets caught on camera doing the chop? A harmless, insignificant thing that, you know, and, and the other thing is we're blaming the parents without even knowing the story. I mean, I, I looked at that, and I disagree with your last caller and, and you. I looked at that. My family looked at that. We were watching the Chiefs game. I didn't see, man, I didn't see – a problem with it that's not where my mind went to but here's the thing i I, I, listen i i i I, you're missing the point though jason i don't see a problem with it but knowing the world that we live in knowing how people will try to destroy someone's life we saw it with the kids from uh the high school in kentucky the covington high school in kentucky who showed up in dc right yeah and i think I think these people need to be sued by these people for dragging this kid through the mud. Yes, but still, but 
I'm not saying he did anything wrong, but we need to have the foresight to understand the media climate that we live in and leave our children out of it. If this was a grown man, I would feel very different. This is a child who does not understand the way of the world. What do we say all the time as conservatives? Leave our kids out of the culture wars with, you know, some of the trans issues, all these different things. We always say leave the kids out of it. Now we're defending a kid who got caught up in the middle of it and his parents should have known better. Okay, Pete, what I'm saying is you and I both just agreed he, he didn't do anything wrong. He's not in blackface. The head dress, dress is debatable. Mm-hmm. I, we've, that's been debatable for a long time. Mm-hmm. But, again, when we start doing this whole, um, oh, oh, my God, we, we, we can't offend these people. We can't, but it's a, we can't but speak I, out you, in school. We that's agree. My kids, my we, kids can't speak out in school anymore because – They've been uh, ostracized if they speak out and ask a question about gender. It's not about kids speaking out. Speaking out in a classroom is different than putting your child in a position to be potentially destroyed by literally millions of people, tens of millions of people on social media, which is what's happening to this kid. This is not about standing up in a classroom and saying, I don't think boys can be girls. That is not a fair comparison, Jason. It absolutely is. I'm, I'm saying you don't know the mindset of the parents and you don't know what, what – I didn't see anything wrong with that. I don't need to know the mindset of the parents to know they made a mistake. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree on this one. That's cool. That's It's all good, man. I appreciate you checking yep. in. Listen, it's – it's. I, I, I want to have these conversations. I love Jason. I know, you know, he'll, he'll, be, he'll call back, and I hope he does, whether he agrees or disagrees. That's cool. Um – there's no doubt that there is hypocrisy on the left with these things, right? They are more offended about a kid wearing a headdress to a football game than they are somebody who wants to literally have their private parts and their generals cut off at 10 years old. They would praise that, yet they're trying to destroy a kid's life in headdress. I don't deny that. I realize that hypocrisy is, is alive and well and rampant. But my point is, I'm not putting my child on the front lines of the culture war and risking that. I'm just not doing it. And we can sit there and say, oh, we can't, we're, we can't kowtow to them. We, I, if I want to do it, fine. If I want to show up to the Raiders Chiefs game in Vegas with a headdress and my face painted half black, half red, that's different. I can handle it. I'm an adult. Our kids do not deserve to be put in the middle of that. And it's our job to protect them from that. 913-408-7957. We got the news coming up. We'll get to more uh, of you. And plus, I've been thinking a lot sitting around the house by myself lately. We'll get to some of that coming up.